Hello, wie geht's? And this sums up pretty much all the German I know. But in seven days, I'm gonna be fluent. Basically, I saw other YouTubers doing this, and I thought, what a nice challenge, I want to try it. The thing is that I don't like the way they teach languages in school. I don't think it's fun or it's productive. Actually, like, I think it's really boring. So it doesn't give you the motivation to actually want to learn. I self-learned Spanish and a little bit of French. So I developed a pretty fun, cool method that works for me to be able to give me motivation to keep on going. So I basically just spent the first two days grasping the basic grammar and then it's very action oriented because all I want is to be able to speak, not to write an essay. So I go straight into talking even if I don't know how to. So basically there's no clear structure because I just go into my day and see what do I actually need to use and that's the things I'm gonna learn. And then I also do a bunch of Duolingo and other things that I enjoy. If you want to see like a structured method to be able to learn a language then you should check other channels. But here I just want to show you clips of the days in other things that I do that are fun for me to be able to learn. And my main advice is into learning a language, any kind of language. And in the end, I'm going to test my progress by having a conversation with my friends. One of the most important things when you're learning a new language is that you should not be trying to get your native language or English. In order to translate to that language, you should do the most you can in order to change everything that you do in your day to that specific language. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go on YouTube and you're going to search for how to learn German. And you're going to see all the videos available, everything you can do. Hi to friends or our relatives, we use the informal word tschüss. Also one piece of advice when you want to learn something, this. You don't want this next to you, you want this very far from you. My second piece of advice would be to set language learning goals, which basically means why do you want to learn that language? Why do I want to learn German? For me, it's because I'm in Germany, so I actually want to be able to communicate with people. And then also, don't set yourself impossible goals, things that are completely unattainable. Be reasonable in knowing where you're going and how fast you're going, because you're not going to learn how to speak German in a week. Also, there's a thing, like, you don't need to learn all the words and all the verbs. The 100 top words in the English dictionary make up 50% of all the conversation, so you can get the A level just with 100 words. And a thousand words make up for 90% of the speech, because obviously it's different if you want to write an essay or if you just want to have a conversation with someone. Basically, if you learn the 100 words of any language, then you can have a pretty basic but good conversation. Not very deep, of course, but you can actually have a conversation and be able to express yourself and communicate what you want. My third piece of advice would be for you to study smart. Before I came here, I thought that if I just listened to German podcasts, I would just understand some words and be able to have the speech, but then I was just losing time. I don't know if you guys would it, but it's completely stupid. Please don't do it. One thing that really helps me is to write things down because when you are writing things the muscles are connected to your brain so you actually memorize things faster this is science i don't know like this is science and another thing is to get apps for example i mean i think everyone knows duolingo but there's more there's tiny cards there's buzzle there's a lot of apps that you can use i'm mostly just using duolingo spending one hour a day just reaching the maximum level practice is what is important not just a study because if you just get a lot of information then everything will go away so you need to be actually practicing so get apps write things down for example you can write your diary in another language for example i write my diary in spanish or in english depends <laughs> so that i can keep on practicing nein 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 bitte aber ich liebe dich nein du liebst mich nicht du hast mich gerade getroffen as I Liebe of Dan Hare's Dan Blick. And yeah, basically just use it in your daily life. Make friends, go on dating apps. Lay das is the Afflocken. Yeah. And um Tomaten of Hot, weil ich liebe Spanien und dann Kaffee auch. Das ist mehr sugar. It's very sweet. Das ist sehr süß. Sehr süß. You're not gonna be perfect. Because it's not your native language, even like maybe you're not perfect in your native language, but anyways, like just don't be scared, be confident in talking. Some people will correct you, some people will not want to answer to you, but just, just try it. 
I think the last thing I would say is also learn about the culture because when you're learning a language it is also always associated with a culture, with an history, with a country, with whatnot. and if you actually learn about the culture then you're more motivated to learn the language and engage with people go have currywurst, go explore little places yeah. Guys, podcast, podcast surfing you can be just in your day like riding your bike or just walking around and you are listening to podcasts so you are learning while you are living so I'm listening to this podcast it's called German Pods 101 then last of last piece of advice is to test yourself so make little challenges for example this week I'm gonna know all the numbers so start reading things write them down go with it in your daily life or just go out of your door and be like okay Today I'm gonna get from my house to the supermarket just by asking people directions. So you have the questions and you can take them with you and challenge yourself. Make little challenges, whatever works for you, and test yourself. And then, like, just the last thing is have fun. Learning is fun and it's supposed to be fun. Du bist ein, ein Kartoffel, eine Frau und meine Mutter et zwei Zimmer. Have fun. Another thing I do, but I'm not sure this works, is that there's another type of videos on YouTube which are called, for example, Learn German While You Sleep, which is basically like four hours podcast where they just speak. And when you go to bed, when you fall asleep, you just put your headphones and you stay like there and you are listening to German. And I'm not sure if your brain captures something, but it might. <laughs> Today is the seventh day since I started learning German, so this is now me testing myself in how much did I actually learn. Can we have a conversation in German? Oh, why? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you? I live in Berlin, because Berlin is very beautiful and I love it. Deutsch to learn. Do you do sport? I do all yoga. Yes. Willst du Yoga zusammen treiben? Ja. Ja? Morgen? Ja. Vielleicht Sonntag. Danke schön. Bitte schön, kein Problem. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe hier. <lacht> oh, nein. Oh, und äh, ich bin äh, glücklich. Und äh, ja, <lacht> tschüss. <lacht> tschüss. What I want to tell you is that you're not going to learn a language in seven days. It's just not possible. But you can get the basics, you can have a basic conversation and you can develop from there. But <laughs> one important thing is that you have fun. Whatever is your definition of fun. Like if you are sitting, doing just grammar exercises and vocabulary and if that's fun for you, that's nice. <laughs> that's okay for you. That's not fun for me. So I do it according to what I like and enjoy. And just think to yourself. Dwelling strength is a message between exercises that goes like 15 minutes a day can teach you a language. What do 15 minutes of social media do for you? So this is for you to think about. Because in the end, where it's important, the point that I really want to make, and this is off by the way, it's just funny to hold it. The point that I want to make is that it's better that you do something a little bit every day that over time just compounds and I can be speaking German in fluently in one year, let's say than to just stay one week studying five hours every day because then you just don't have the motivation, you're making yourself suffer and that's not how you learn. Learning is fun. Learning should be fun. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are motivated. Tell me if you are learning something and what are you learning and tell me like other ways of learning languages because it's one of the things that I enjoy the most learning because it actually involves the whole conversation with people and interaction and getting to know cultures. So tell me like your own ways of learning, of learning things, of learning languages and which languages do you think people should learn and I should learn and yeah wishing good luck for me with my German and wishing good luck for you and a beautiful day